three directions of savings. The first one, you are saving money for emergency. So part of it is insurances, medication, and uncertainties. Now, for insurances, guys, you pay a lesser amount compared to what you're going to get. If you have a car, definitely you have an insurance for your car. Why? If in case you get into an accident, you have to repair your car. And repairing your car is super expensive. Case in point, I had an experience before. I got into a car accident. Yung Hilux, yung hood niya nasira. So I went to Toyota and asked for a quotation for the repair. Do you know how much was the quotation? 123,000 pesos. But because it got insured, or it was insured, what happened was, we paid for 5,000 pesos deductible or participation fee, and the premium for that particular year is 30K. So we paid 35K for that year to get 123,000 pesos worth of service. So that's a huge savings. That's the value of insurance. The problem is, for most people, they have an insurance for their motorcycle, they have an insurance for their car, but they don't have an insurance for their health and life. Mas importante pala yung value ng sasakyan mo compared to the owner of the unit. The ideal situation is for you to have at least 6 months worth of your expenses. An emergency fund is something that we have to prepare for but hopefully, we won't use it. Because the moment we use it, that means th something bad happened already. Ito yung fun fact. Those people who prepared an emergency fund, sila yung tao na hindi masyado nakaka-experience ng emergencies. But for those people who did not prepare for their emergency fund, they are the ones who are most likely to experience a lot of emergencies. Second reason is investment. The goal here is for your money to work for you instead of you working for money. Personal development is one of the things that you really have to invest in. Let's say you are doing a certain job right now and you want to improve it. Attend activities, workshops, or even watch videos that can help you. Because the most valuable asset in the world is you. Lastly, why you are saving money is for our desires. Mga luho natin, mga gusto natin sa buhay. Materialistic things, it may be bags, jewelries, watches, shoes, or whatever. There's nothing wrong if you want to buy those things. Nothing wrong with it. As long as you can afford it. Another example is experience. Travel tayo, or kaya you want to dine in a fancy restaurant, you want to check in in a fancy hotel, yun, mga experience yun siya. Donations, it may be contributing to your family members, it may be, let's say, may calamity, tapos you want to help your community, that's donation. So these are the reasons why you are saving money. 